knees were giving out a little bit. <laughs> I was a little nervous going into the squat. I'm not going too crazy, just like 135, first set. But when I went down, I had to just pause for a second, just to allow my like ligaments to just catch up. I'm gonna go, I need to go around 25. I really pushed it, and I know I need to go, I need to go up, but I just wanna make sure I'm moving forward. That's the main thing. I'm getting older. So patience is like, it's really even more important now than when I was younger, just to stay safe and healthy. I do wanna continue to push myself. That's not like, you know, a question at all. I, it's gotta be mindful of what I'm doing. Even though I'm doing legs, it wasn't the main priority this week at all. I just wanted to make sure I was staying on track. Coming to the week, I wanted to hit each body part twice, and I did do that. And I didn't necessarily really hit like chest or back more. I just did like more like with it, like duration wise, like I spent more time on it. So I said to say like I did legs and I did chest and I did legs and I did back. And I also did just a chest focus day where I just spent the whole session just on chest and I didn't really do a whole bunch of complicated movements. That's later on in the video, so definitely stay tuned for that, or you could just scrub forward. But yeah, I just took my time with my upper body this week. That's that was like the main goal. Not necessarily like you know going in and going crazy, doing a whole lot of exercises. It was more so just making sure I'm fine tuning everything and taking time to just focus on my muscle connection. Because at the end of the day, that's what really matters. And you know, nutrition still plays a big part. But just, just about time. at like the hour mark, I'm feeling pretty good. I took a few more days like to just rest before I did this workout. And I'm feeling great right now. Like my energy's back. I, it wasn't really out. Like it wasn't really gone or anything like that. I just like feel really good right now. Um, it's early in the morning, so I'm gonna get some food and I'm gonna get my day going. Second day here, hitting full body again. I'm gonna focus on hitting a little more chest today. I didn't really hit chest last time. I did some back. I did legs. I'm gonna do legs again. I'm starting off with squat here. Just want to get this out of the way. It always takes me just a little more just to get going with squat. So I'm make sure I get out of the way. Deadlift like takes some energy too, but just I don't know what it is. I think it's just stabilizing with the squat just takes a little more out of me. But I'm not like tired or anything right now. I'm just like keeping that in mind as I'm going forward. But I'm gonna hit this and then I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna do some chest incline bench, flat bench, probably with the dumbbells, and then I'm gonna do some dips. I am gonna do some body weight back, like pull ups later on, but not right now. Just wanna make sure I'm like you know moving forward consistently. I already did some cardio, it's more of like maintenance cardio, like. I've been keeping it around like 30 to 40 minutes just to make sure I'm still moving forward. So that's like a separate goal in and of itself. And like the strength training is more so like its own goal because I'm like trying to maintain certain things and I'm trying to push like with some definition, but it's very specific with what I'm doing. And I know that like to keep the body fat down is really just a lot of it's nutrition and a lot of it's just, you know, keeping the stress level down. So it's a mixture of a couple things, but I want to keep those goals moving forward together. And I like to not overcomplicate my training too much so as long as I move forward I'm happy with it and I'm like I'm not in between training blocks like I'm in a training block right now and it's just getting over the boredom with like fat loss like the boring stuff works and I'm trying to like stay on track it's just a little harder and it's taking a little more out of me because the workouts are longer I've been mean, trying to keep it like capped at hour 15 max but it's starting to just drag on a bit because I, I have more I want to do but it's just hard to like get it in sometimes so I just have to be like honest with myself, like with where I'm at, where my energy's at. It's good right now, like, I feel great right now, but it's a, you know, moving target. Second full body day here. And again, I'm starting off with legs, but I just did like one thing for legs and I went right to chest like I'm doing right now. Incline bench, love doing it. And going into this week, my chest felt pretty good. It was just a little tender, but nothing like too crazy. So I was able to push, but I didn't like do it like a peaking week. I just went in there. I did more reps for today. And I also did more rest for my chest focus day later on in the week. The goal was just to, again, focus on my muscle connection, improve the quality of the sessions. And because I'm still cutting, my energy has been pretty low. So this really helped me just to stay on track and focus on my movement without focusing on whether or not like, like I'm going to have like a quality rep because I am still gonna have energy. I am gonna do my workout. It's just when you cut down, it feels like it feels like a lot like doing just some basic workout like every workout that i'm going in with this cut like i'm not really cutting like heavy but every time i go in with a deficit like i feel it like i feel like my reps are slower i'm recording my workout so when i look at the video it doesn't look slow but it feels awful sometimes i'm not gonna lie to you but i'm doing it i'm gonna continue doing it i'm gonna continue pushing push myself but if you're in a deficit or you're cutting heavy like it's very hard to maintain 
your form when you're you know exercising especially on squat and deadlift and it's very hard to just stay focused and motivated throughout the workout so you have to do more just to get the same amount of work done that you would have gotten if you weren't last day of training for this week my legs are still a little sore so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in i'm gonna hit back again so i hit back yesterday but it was mostly body weight the main thing i did was the neutral grip like chin up and that was really good for the biceps and the back but it wasn't really like the, the too taxing like i do pull-ups all the time so what i'm gonna do today is just go in i'm gonna hit back pretty hard and i'm still gonna do cardio I'll do about 20 to 30 minutes maybe more i'm gonna see how i'm feeling as i go on there my energy is good right now i had some pre-workout had some food like i feel energized it's just when you go into fat loss phase the boring stuff works and i don't think you guys want to see that because i usually end up doing the stairmaster or walking that's, that's like my go-to i find walking really relaxing and the stairmaster just works like regardless of like what time i hop on it like how conditioned I am, it just works. That's why I like doing it. The treadmill, after a while, like I stopped burning as much calories and it's really hard to get my heart rate up, but every time I go into Stairmaster, it gets my heart rate up. So I'm continuing to do that. And I'm also still continuing to strength train. And the main thing with the strength training is just making sure I'm maintaining the muscle I have so I'm not losing too much. But that also comes down to your nutrition. You have to make sure you're eating enough and you have to make sure you're eating the right quantities of each macro split. And that really goes into like you personally, like you're gonna have to customize that to your demands and what you're doing on a day to day. Back's actually way more sore than I expected. Like it's gone from like the mid back all the way down. Like I feel like it's just mostly in the mid back. And as I'm like pulling into the low row here, I'm feeling it. I don't know, like, I think it was just the variation I did with the like close grip, like neutral grip chin up. Like it's just a little different. It wasn't like, I don't say it was super easy. Like it wasn't super easy. It just was different. It was a different stimulus. I always like have more time, like trouble with just the regular pull-ups. That's why like I always do it because I was able to do a lot of champs like when I first started doing it. And I had to really work at the pull-ups with like bands and stuff just to get it to the point where it is now where I can like rep it out. I also had to like cut down a bit with my weight. When I like cross like 190, it gets a little tougher for me. When I'm like just under, like as soon as I get into like that 189 range, it gets a lot easier for me. I'm way like under that right now. That's probably why I'm able to wrap out like a whole lot. Like I'm at like 180, give or take like a pound or two, depending on the day. Like if I'm like eating a little more, I'll be a little heavier, like 182, 183. But yeah, I don't know. Every time I do that variation on that pull-up bar, just on that specific pull-up bar, it really like gets my mid back and like the inside, my back real tight. And I haven't really seen that like specific pull-up bar at like any other like gym because the way it is i thought it was like set up wrong where it's like inverted a little bit but it does make a difference all right so for today i am just doing back that's it i don't really overcomplicate it too much and honestly when you do back like especially when you do back and buys there isn't like too many movements you could do because the movements are pretty repetitive so what i did was i just did like the movements on different machines and I, you know, finished off with some of my favorite movements, like the pull-up. I do pull-ups like almost every day. So I love doing that. I, I don't think I'll ever get tired of that, but you know, hopped in there, did that. And I also just did a couple different machines. That's why I like going to the gym with options because it gives you more variety going into it, especially when you're doing days like this. Cause when you're doing stuff like this, you know, you'll run out of exercise to do pretty fast, especially if you're changing up like throughout the year, it's gonna be hard. Starting off on the treadmill today. I've been doing a lot of Stairmaster work and I feel like it's tightening up my hamstrings quite a bit. I was going to do legs today, but my legs aren't feeling 100% like at all. I feel like I'm going to pull something like just going into like the warm-up set. So I'm going to do this today and I'm going to try to do some more treadmill. i got to keep like mixing it up because I feel like I am overusing like the Stairmaster just a bit. So I do love it though. It works, but it can be a little intense and I'm only like... I'm gonna stay on here for about like 15 minutes and then I'll go into the workout, 30 minute workout. I'm gonna try to keep on for 45 minutes today. I'm already like five minutes in. Heart rate's like barely budging. It's like like 72. I want it closer to 100. It's not like anywhere near close there. I got like 25. Last day of the week here, I had like no energy. I was like tight going into the workout. My legs were sore from the beginning of the week because I was like top heavy with legs in the beginning of the week. I pretty much did the legs back to back. I did two leg days back to back, but I was going back and forth like with the chest, you know, back, chest, back. But after I finished that, like going into the fourth day, I the third day, I didn't really feel as much, but going into the fourth day, 
doing stair master work. I didn't really record it, but doing the same master work really good. Shorter nice workout today. Time. I just want to make sure I like came in, got the work in. I did about 15 minutes of cardio just to make sure I'm staying on track. A little shorter. I would like to go up to like 20 if my legs were a little tight. I felt it like going into some of the strength training exercises, like going into the incline bench. My hamstrings are way tighter than I like. I'm gonna do a, like some stretching and I'm gonna take a hot shower just to loosen everything up. I only did like three exercises, but I did a lot of sets. I did some warm-up sets just to get it going, and then I did you know sets off the back end. There was like a new machine I wanted to try today. Did that but like the chest workout wasn't really that complicated, but I do feel like a lot of engagement and it was still a little sore from the last chest day I did. And I was like really focused, but that was like more of a full body, like hybrid day. Cause I did some like other movements, but either way, it's still a good workout.